This is the season 18 Hot Ones Challenge. And today I will be doing it to prove to everybody over there at the Hot Ones team that I can do it better than anybody on the show. Sean, you got my number, call me. So this is the 100% authentic season 18 Hot Ones Challenge, baby. I actually got to meet Sean at an event that we did together. Great guy. But today, Spice King's coming for his crown. So let's see what's in the box. Woo! There's that famous logo right there, baby. You know it's legit. Congratulations, Spice Lord. You've dared to dream a spicy dream, to become part of the legacy. Before you partake, be sure to assemble your squad, secure some wings, and fill your largest canteen with milk in preparation for the trials ahead. But most of all, get ready to enjoy the journey. I don't need no squad. Today, I'm taking the challenge down by myself. Now some of these I recognize, but there's some of these that I've never seen before that look just downright tasty. Like this one. I ain't gonna count. I wanna eat that right now. In the words of my great friend Badlands Chugs, enough talk. Let's cook. I don't know much about cooking, but that should be okay. 349, 350. Definitely hot. So we're gonna cook these wings until they're 165 degrees and golden crispy on the outside. It's gonna take about eight to 10 minutes. This challenge is definitely gonna make me start cooking more. Definitely brings me back to my childhood when my grandma used to cook for me in Texas. I really do miss her at times like this, especially when I'm frying me some chicken. They look about done, so now I'm gonna lay them on the rack to dry and cool off. Definitely look crispy, definitely look good, but I really wanna throw the sauce on here to see how they're gonna look when they're done. Oh yeah, these definitely look good. I've always liked flats, but let me know down in the comments, is it flats or is it drums? So it all starts with the classic, which is just a mild hot sauce, so it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. I thought it was cool for a second. Level one. Then we have the island wings, which sounds very, very interesting. Not too spicy. Definitely interesting though. Level two. Level three is made by Oaxacan. And this one right here, I need to know what it smells like right now, so. Oh wow, it's a very like earthy smell. Level three. This one is the Los Calientes, and I've had this one before. It's actually very good. Level four. I heard that this is where the heat creeps in with the seventh reaper. So let's see what they got. Doesn't smell too hot. Level five. This one is probably one of my favorite labels out of all of the sauces. This one is collards and ghost. This hot sauce is actually made with collard greens and you can smell them. I love collard greens. Level six. This one is called Tire Fing's Curse. Not sure what that means, but hopefully I'll be all right. Level seven. But what has to be the most exciting hot sauce out of the bunch? The Bombs Evolution. Woo! That one got some heat. Yeah, this is, this is, uh, this is potent. This got a good little tang to it. Not nervous. Just ready for level eight. But this is where it should start to get particularly difficult. Dingo. And even though it's spicy, it has a very, very good flavor to it. Level nine. And this is it, the moment we've all been waiting for. The last dab, which might be just one of the most flavorful yet spicy hot sauces that I've ever tasted because this stuff right here is delicious. <sighs> Dang, got a kick on it. Level 10. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out these sauces before we start the challenge, but 
I am gonna keep the last dab out because to successfully complete this challenge, level 10 has to have a last dab on it. Here we have level one. They're a little dry, but they'll do. What's the worst purchase you've ever made? That's a good one. I'm gonna have to think about that one for a second. I think that the worst purchase I have ever made was definitely buying my Xbox One. I have a PC and a PlayStation 5, so it was literally pointless for me to buy it. I don't even play it, so I literally bought it just to be cool. Level two. Yeah, they say I look like the streamer Tyler. They say I look like Chris Brown. I don't understand how I look like him. Uh, they say that I look like that bald model that went to prison. I get that one all the time. Level three. After the first three levels, they were all pretty mild. They all had a good, unique flavor about each one of them, but they were all very, very medium. Mm. Okay. That one's good. I like that one better than the other three. Level four is really good. The most useless talent that I have. Well, before all of this, I would have thought that it was spicy food eating, but for a long time, I thought that me liking spicy food was like a trait that would get me nowhere. Little did I know, it would take me all the way. Always believe in your talents out there. Level five. If I had the chance to steal something, what would it be? I would definitely steal all the gold in Fort Knox. You know, if I could get away with that and it wasn't like gonna send me to prison, then yeah, I would do it. But stealing is bad, kids. Level six. Nothing, I still don't taste any spice. Up to level six, it's been mild all the way across the board. What is something that makes you extremely uncomfortable? Something that makes me extremely uncomfortable, oddly enough, is when people watch me eat. And that sounds weird because I post content all the time where people just stare at me all day, but like in person, it's more of like an in-person thing. Like if I'm eating at a restaurant and I look over and you're just staring at me, chewing my food. It's always been a pretty big pet peeve of mine. It may be an oxymoron that I don't like people to watch me eat food, but it's only in person. I don't have a problem with it. Social media. Level seven. I don't taste nothing, bro. Working on the internet draws a lot of haters. How do you deal with internet beef? Internet beef made me famous. So, you know, I don't really have a problem with internet beef, comment toxicity. I actually invite it because people don't often realize that all these influencers get paid off of negative comments just as much as they get paid off of positive comments. So, bring on the toxicity, baby. How are you feeling? Like, even if you're not like burning, you're like, it's a lot of wings, like, you know? I feel fine. I don't really feel much, but I know from what I've heard anyway, that level eight is where it actually gets pretty spicy. So level eight. Oh yeah. 
You can definitely taste the Carolina Reaper on this one. Right away. That one got some heat to it. Have you ever had a near-death experience? If so, describe it. I think I'm having a near-death experience. <laughs> nah, I've had, I've had a few near-death experiences. I was on a roller coaster one time. My, my seat wasn't on. Good. So I was, I held my seat the whole ride. Luckily, I didn't sue that place. I'm not gonna name where it was, but I had fun. Ultimately, if it had been a bad experience and I like almost fell out or something, I probably would have taken it further, but I didn't fall out. I just had to hold it for some reason. It was very, very, very weird, but not, 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 not too scary, but it was definitely a near death experience. I'm sure a lot of people would freak out in that situation, but I kind of just relied on my strength and I was like, you know what? I think I can hold this down. I'm not going anywhere. That's why I believe that amusement parks should have two forms of like straps. Like if there should be a regular seat belt, then there should be a lap bar. Level nine. I almost feel like level eight is hotter than level nine. Bitch, that's it. It's hot. It's hot. You were a waiter. What's the worst thing a customer has ever done? I would definitely have to say that there was this one time when I was a waiter, my table just came in in a bad mood and then I got fired because of them. They just came in in a bad mood, said I did all these kinds of things that I didn't do wrong. And I worked at this specific restaurant that was very strict. And if you got one single complaint from a table, you would get fired. That's probably my worst experience as a waiter. I am definitely sweating right now. So I don't know what's going on, but these are actually spooky spicy. I feel like Sean has definitely built a tolerance to all of these and like he just doesn't feel it anymore. Pretty sure I'd be the same way, but for some reason it was fine up until this point and right away it just immediately jumped to a whole nother level. But level 10, a little bit of more of that last dab. Cheers. Hey Spice fam, if you like heat, make sure to get you some of that spicy cams. The link is in my bio. Well, there you have it, folks. I might be sweating, and I might have to admit that these might be a little spicy, but I'm gonna make it through without touching a single ounce of this milk or this water, because I'm built different. Another challenge down, the Hot Ones has officially been conquered by the king. Well, it's your boy, Spicy Cam. You always know where to find me. And until next time, stay spicy.